part two is now in session, so let's continue. Here's another demo tape, and this is my 60th demo tape I have so far. I know Fisher Rachel and Tyler trust her to his back have this tape. Pause the video if you want to read the information. And I have the retail tape as well. January 28th, 1995. This is a Paramount 75th Anniversary Tape. June 12th, 1987. It says 167 on the week in your code, so I couldn't really interpret that. That might be the 16th week of 1987, but I'm not exactly too sure. I do like Phil Collins' music, so I just had to get this tape. Printed on the 32nd week of 1987. Here's a Big W Warner Home Video clamshell under the comedy genre. And this is a former rental from Sound Warehouse, just like all the other cut boxes. I apologize if I tip the iPad over. Put it on. Oh, there's no week in your code. It has the MCA Home Video logo on the left side of the end label for some reason, instead of the right. Which that is very, very odd. Boring Shield. It's another Robin Williams film I got in my collection. Printed on... August 29th, 1997. It's from former runner from OP Video. This is a pretty rare tape I got at the flea market. And this is actually from my local CBS affiliate in Chicago, WBBM TV. 35th week of 1997, so this does have a week in year code. Now here's something really interesting. It's actually from the ABC affiliate in Boston. Parade of the Tall Ships 2000. I never expected to find this at a flea market in Chicago. That's a really, really interesting find. And here's the last tape I got at the flea market. Former owner from the Palatine Public Library.
put it on the 42nd week of Night Side 4. It still uses the CBS Fox video label for some reason. It's really hard to get back in. I do apologize for that. And now here are the tapes I got at Savers in Arlington Heights, Illinois. This is an RKO collection tape from 1991. Here's another John Wayne film from the All American Heroes collection, which I do have two other ones, which are. Westward Ho and The Lawless Nineties, which both of those are also John Wayne films. December 16th, 1992. The next two are Francis for Talking Mural films. And I know Media Pro Ever and Fisher Rachel have this tape as well. Printed on the 20th week of 1994. Printing! So this would definitely have the widescreen of death at the end. And here is the other Francis film. And I know Fisher Rachel has this one. And I believe Media Pro Ever has this one as well. Put it on the... Eighth week of 1996, and it does not have printings on it. This is my only Thin Man collection tape. Print date is. August 29th, 1995. And next up is a pretty rare box set from WTTW Channel 11. Which is actually one of my local PBS stations, by the way. I do have three of the tapes here. This one I have. I'll put the booklets back on later. I have this tape which is still sealed. I'm going to keep my sealed copy. This one I did not have. It's a pretty neat box set. I'll fix that later. Here's my second Chippendale Rescue Rangers tape. The other one I have is Undercover Critters. May 24th, 1990. This is the Gangster Collection print. I also have the 1989 print of it as well. The 
14th week of 1998. And here's the last tape we got at Savers. And this is the KVC Home Video Print. I do have this special on DVD. But since this is a pretty rare tape, I decided to pick this up. And definitely a cla classic peanut special. Fairwort, Fairwort, Fairwort. This is an Avon copy. October 1st and October 2nd, 1991. So printed a day apart. And here are the four tapes I got at Goodwill in Northbrook, Illinois. And the next two are Spanish tapes. I know we got this one because it is in Spanish. And those you don't even see at all. So this is a pretty neat find. I believe this is subtitled, although it will, might still have the English audio. Here's the other Spanish tape. I know Clayton Connell has this tape as well. February 8th, 2000. It's so printed exactly three weeks before it came out to video. And here's the last tape. This is a Pee Wee's Playhouse tape. Volume 12, and this came in a box set. Although this is the only tape they had a Goodwill. Uh, this show they had a Goodwill. January 21st, Night Size 7. That is going to be it for my VHS update, and I'll see you later.